Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your girl, what? L-V-E. Okay, y'all, so, y'all see what's going on over here? This is the other side of the couch. We got all them over there. Well, now we're moving over here. <laughs> so, we still got all this floor space and stuff. That's where the Christmas tree was. It's about to be real. No, it's like... Okay, so I know y'all gonna ask me, E, it's Tuesday. How was your Tuesday? Did you go Dollar General shopping? No, I did not. Um, one reason is because when they had like that 90% off sale and uh, stuff like that, I just was not. I bought so much stuff and I'm like, there's really nothing else that I really want. Um, as far as like basket wise or whatever. And I already knew the Blue Star Tours were gone because they was gone when I went out them that whole weekend. So, uh, nope, I'm not even going to waste my time or my energy. I was like, I'm going to go and try to find some other stuff. So, I uh, went to a couple places, uh, went to Walmart, and baby, <laughs> what I tell y'all don't wipe out all them purses. It ain't a lick of purse, watch set, not nothing in them stores. Y'all not playing. When y'all see these deals, y'all like, nah, we about to make some money. I was like, nah, we ain't gonna leave no crumbs. <laughs> I mean, it was nothing left. I was like, we're having all these bags and stuff these Walmarts had. Nothing. Y'all left no, y'all ate all that up. And hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But luckily for me, I was able to get some purses a while back. Um, and it might, I don't think it might have been most of the prices everybody has paid, but it was pretty cheap though. So I'm cool with that. My husband's like, you better get them while you can. I said, he ain't lying because baby, if I went in there now trying to get some, mm -mm, I wouldn't have got nothing. So anyway, that's not what this video is about, but I just want to get that out there because I know y'all going to answer about Dollar General. Nope. Didn't do it. Didn't even waste my time. Um, so I did, um, I was able to go to, um, one of my local Dollar Trees that I haven't been to in a while because I'm looking for educational stuff and books and, and cards, like learning cards and stuff like that for the, the younger babies because I never have enough for the babies. And I got a feeling that I'm going to get bombarded. Um, I got like attacked around Valentine's Day for the babies and I had absolutely nothing. Um, toddlers, yeah, like I'm talking about three, four, five years old, six years old, whatever. They might not even be con uh, well, y'all know what I'm trying to say. They might not even be toddlers or whatever, as as far as people say. But that's all I had for. I didn't have nothing for babies. Not no one year olds, no eighteen months, which is one year old. No, no twelve months, no six months, no nothing. And I'm like, uh, uh, people gonna be looking for that stuff around Easter. Um, I sold quite a bit last year and I didn't have none last year. I had to go and make some. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not finna go through that again. So I was like, I'm gonna go for some education stuff for the babies. And so did that and ended up finding a whole lot more, <laughs> whole lot more. But I'm actually okay with what I found because, um, I was able to get something for the older kids as well. Um, so that worked out great. Um, but yeah, and then I also got some other stuff that I'm personally going to keep for myself, but I probably need to go back and get some for the, for the older kids and like the kids that, you know, just like putting stuff like this together and doing activities like this and reading these type of books. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure, we'll see how it goes when I start making, um, baskets with these items. But yeah, that's how my day went. No dollar general shopping. I know y'all surprised. Y'all like, what? LBE didn't go down. <laughs> nope. Didn't do it. Mm -mm, didn't even waste my time because I knew what was in there from the last time. And I knew it wasn't no Blue Star toys. I was looking all over for them doggone things and didn't find. I think I found one box. It was, was Play-Doh and stuff. I said, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not even going to entertain that. So, anyway, here's what I found. All right. So... Um, of course, I was able to find some Fisher Price alphabet number counting and color shape uh, learning cards, um, and they all come with 36 cards in each. Um, of course, I got several of those for the babies and the toddlers, and you know the little the kids that still learning all this different stuff. Um, also for them, I picked up 
these books. And I'm like, like e you picked up small stuff? I'm like, yeah. Because, I mean, for the babies, I have some quite nice size items that I'm putting in there. So I was like, it never hurts to add a few more or like some more items with like small um, size stuff or whatever. And, of course, I always want to make sure they have stuff that they can learn from and not just, you know... I won't say bull crap, but y'all know what I mean. Like, not just stuff that they can play with. Like, I want them to be able to learn and, you know, get as smart as they can to just become the best they can possibly be. So, of course, I was able to find um, some of these Baby Einstein books. And these books, you can actually download the app for and read, watch, and listen all at the same time. So, I really think this is pretty cool um, for them to just, you know... And it's not that many pages in here, but it's just something to teach them about animals and stuff like that. And I found that one, which was animals, um, animals of the world. And then they had anim uh, at the park. And then there was farm friends. And last but not least, in the jungle. So these are all four different um, books that they can actually... The parents can actually um, connect to like their iPad. You know, y'all know some of these kids got iPads and stuff. Don't don't act like they ain't got no electronic devices. Uh, <laughs> so they can actually download the app and actually, you know, follow along in the book um, as it's reading to them. And they can listen and, you know, just learn more from stuff like that. So I got quite a bit of those. Um, and then for like my older kids, um, I found some cool paperback books. Slide this back. Let me show y'all these. They actually have like pictures in them and stuff like that. You know, just, you know, good story books or whatever that um you can either read to your child or if your child's old enough that's, you know, learning how to read and need to work on like the chapter books or whatever. These are pretty cool chapter books. They're not that thick, but at the same time, they are um thick enough for them to learn and at least read a story, you know, each night or whatever. I mean, we're going into the summertime. You know, so this is something that the child can work on during the summer, you know, to get prepared for the next school year. And, and then, of course, they'll probably at the same time enjoy what they're reading. So I looked up and found several of those, which um, they're all in different kinds. There was Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, Alice, Wonderland, and uh, there was another one. Uh, Treasure Island. So this is a whole actual series that you can actually, you know, I'm not going to put all of these in one basket. Um, I mean, it'd be cool to do that, but I feel like this is really not like a, y'all know how some chapters, some books are like number one, two, three, four, like the actual series. Um, so I was like, well, maybe, you know, they can read one and then the parent be like, oh, I like that, blah, blah, blah. Let me go try to find them some more. And, you know, maybe they look up and find some online or something like that, but I at least want to put at least one of these in some of the kids' baskets just so they can have something, you know, educational to do. Because, like I said, some of these kids just like to read. They don't like to play a whole bunch of games and all this other stuff. And then some, they like to do both, you know. So, I was like, let's get let's get some of these books. Um, so, I got several of those. Um, and then something cool that I actually found, which was really, really awesome. Uh, I'm trying to find the first one. Which was an actual trilogy type uh book or whatever which was these hardy boys and i actually looked these up online they actually sell them on amazon but they're the dollar tree didn't have one of the series or one of the secret files that's what they call the secret files um amazon um had one through five dollar tree only had one through four but i was like still i mean this is a pretty cool book i read the back of it to see what it was you know talking about just to make sure it was kid appropriate which i'm pretty sure it is by the way it looks but sometimes you can be fooled by stuff like this so you know i just wanted to make sure um and of course amazon all the reviews were great said their kids love reading them um some parents said their kids couldn't put it down wanted to go straight to the next book you know so with these i'm actually going to put all of the secret files in one so one through four would go in a basket because if the child likes the first one and the parent can't find the rest of them, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that to the parent. So I think um, some of the baskets are going to have these, um, the one through four in there. And then, of course, I'll just add like one big item and maybe, you know, one reason price big item. Because y'all know most of my big items are less than $5. You know, I have some for $3. I have some I paid $4 for. So I'll be able to pull it off with... um 
the four books or whatever. So you had that one, which was Trouble at the Arcade. And then they had number two, which was um, The Missing Mitt. It's like they, they you read it and then they solve like the mystery. Um, or, you know, like w there's a problem that happens and then the two boys figure out what they need to do to solve the mystery and save the day. Um, this one was Mystery Map. Um, and then they had number four, which was uh, Hopping Mad. So this is a trilogy. I found those are really cool for kids to read. Um, and I got as many as they had. They didn't really have many, but I got as many as they had. And I said, you know what? I'm going to check another Dollar Tree out um, just in case I want to add, you know, do maybe 10 baskets with those or whatever. Because I feel like that's really cool for a child to have. So end up getting those. Um, and I think that's it as far as the books. Um, got all those baby Einsteins and then the cards. But what I was talking about um, that I got that I said I was going to keep for myself were these puzzles, y'all. Y'all look at these puzzles. Nah, I ain't never. I ain't never seen Dollar Tree carry some stuff like this. When I tell y'all, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting them for myself. My husband called me a nerd because I put puzzles together in my downtime. You know, it's just, it's something that relaxes your mind or whatever, but I can't wait to put these together because I'm definitely going to glue these together this time. And I got some glue and everything. Um, I put one puzzle together and forgot to glue it. And I think my nephew or stepson hit it or something and just that thing just fell all off the table on the floor. And broke all apart. But um, I think when I put these together, I'm actually going to, to glue them together with the puzzle glue. And actually frame these. Um, it says that they frame. They are 11 by 14. Um, like poster size or whatever. So that's going to be really cool to put together and just have, you know, as look cool art, art pieces. I think I'm going to stick these in my shop um, along the walls. Because I don't really have none of my walls up there. Um, I just like. The, the variety of um, the colors and stuff that they have in them. And it's just really cool to me. So if y'all see these at your local Dollar Tree, I said I should have got some of these for kids and then like, or any of these type of puzzles, not just this, this design or whatever, but they have several puzzles, like 500 pieces. I was like, some kids like to put that stuff together and some parents like to, you know what I'm saying? Um, like to do it with their kids or whatever as a family activity or something so i may go back and get some more puzzles um and this is a pretty cool nice box too you see how thick it is so that'll take up some good space even though it's small it's still a you know nice size box that will take up some space in the basket so i may go back and get a few more uh, all right so this is my haul from dollar tree and i think i did pretty good what y'all think um so y'all don't forget to like share comment subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next video peace